According to the Global Burden of Disease Study, a diet high in salt is the number one cause of death attributable to diet. Most of these deaths are caused by cardiovascular diseases, such as heart disease and strokes. One of the links between sodium and cardiovascular diseases is hypertension, which is related to about half of all cardiovascular deaths. Sodium is also linked with chronic kidney disease, which increases the risk for deadly cardiovascular events 100-fold. Reducing sodium intake could save millions of lives every year. But too much sodium is only one side of the story. Too little potassium makes it even worse. It often is the sodium to potassium ratio that is the key factor implicated in the detrimental effects on your vascular system and your kidneys. If this ratio is too high, so too much sodium and too little potassium, the risk for hypertension and chronic kidney disease increases. A low ratio, so low sodium and moderate potassium intake, or moderate sodium and high potassium intake, protects against hypertension and chronic kidney disease. There are other health risks and benefits of sodium and potassium, independent of hypertension and chronic kidney disease. Remember to subscribe to our channel. Sodium health risks. For so-called salt-sensitive people, a high sodium intake is linked to hypertension. 60% of hypertensive patients are salt-sensitive. For these people, a reduction in salt is of paramount importance to improve their blood pressure. But not everyone will see their blood pressure improve when reducing salt. Still, hypertension is just one of the health risks associated with excess sodium. It is also linked to an increased risk for stomach cancer, kidney stones and osteoporosis, independent of the effect on blood pressure. The recommended maximum daily intake is around 2400 mg of sodium, about 6 grams of salt for adults and significantly less for children. Take a look at the table for more information. Potassium Health Benefits Potassium has various positive effects on our cardiovascular health. It helps the body excrete excess sodium via the kidneys, helps with the acid-base balance to protect against kidney damage, and relaxes your arteries to allow for more blood flow. But potassium can become a tricky subject for those with reduced kidney function, thus impaired potassium clearance, as a buildup of potassium in the blood can be dangerous. We will take a closer look at this at the end of this video. For adults, the daily potassium intake should be at least 3500 mg, but recommendations go as high as 4700 mg. There are no known cases of potassium toxicity from solely dietary intake, as healthy kidneys can easily excrete excess potassium. Children should consume less potassium according to their calorie requirements. Western Dietary Patterns those eating a Western dietary pattern, high in processed foods, added fats, added sugar and animal products, often have a high sodium to potassium ratio. The main sources of sodium include restaurant food, processed foods, processed meat products, cheese, savory snacks and baked goods. The main sources of potassium include vegetables, fruits, intact grains or at least whole grain products, legumes, low-fat dairy products and certain types of fish, wherein vegetables have by far the highest potassium content per calorie. Without a few hundred grams of vegetables, it will be next to impossible to reach the desired 4700 mg of potassium. Reducing salt intake 2400 mg of sodium, 6 grams of salt, is just one single teaspoon of salt and that is the recommended maximum daily intake. On Western dietary patterns, the average salt intake is 50% higher than the recommended maximum daily intake, and most salt consumed is hidden inside processed food products, not added during cooking or on the table. Here are the most important steps to reduce your sodium intake. Minimize eating out. Avoid savory snacks. Minimize processed meat and cheese. Minimize baked goods. Be careful with processed foods and check the labels. Season your meals with herbs and spices instead of salt. A good rule for nutrition labels to follow is that the number of milligrams of sodium needs to be smaller than the number of calories. Increasing potassium intake. 
4,700 mg of potassium is quite a lot. On Western dietary patterns low in vegetables and fruits, only about half of the recommended amount of potassium is reached. The most important steps to increase your potassium intake include Eat a few hundred grams of fresh vegetables on a daily basis. Eat more fruits, intact grains and legumes. Choose whole grain products over white grain products. Avoid processed foods high in added fats and or added sugar. Eating less sodium and especially eating more potassium will allow your body to establish a healthy balance of sodium and potassium, protecting your vascular system and your kidneys. Isolated potassium sources Potassium supplements and fruit and vegetable juices can contain high amounts of isolated potassium that can have adverse effects on your health if you suffer from impaired kidney function. Sadly, in Western countries, most people over the age of 60 suffer from impaired kidney function, which is often undiagnosed until later disease stages. If you want to increase your potassium intake in a safe way, go for whole vegetables, fruits, intact grains and legumes. They are high in fiber, offer various other health benefits, also for kidney health, and won't cause elevated blood potassium levels. Potassium and Kidney Disease If you have end-stage chronic kidney disease or have a history of elevated blood potassium levels, it is even more important to stay away from isolated potassium sources. The traditional recommendation for kidney patients is to also limit the intake of whole fruits and vegetables in fear of life-threatening blood potassium levels. This may do more harm than good. Plant-based diets have many kidney health benefits, including improved gut health, lower dietary acid load, lower bioavailability of phosphorus, lower inflammation and less oxidative stress. If you are interested in eating a whole food plant-based diet whilst having chronic kidney disease, consult your doctor and renal dietitian. In case your blood potassium increases on a plant-based diet, using the potassium binding resin called petiromere might be a potential treatment plan. We will link a case report in the description box. We hope this video helps you improve your sodium to potassium ratio to improve your vascular and kidney health. If you liked the video, please give it a like and share it around. See you next week.